Welcome back everyone to another episode where I claim to have fixed the Y wobble in my Tron XY X3A. Yes, I have made this claim like one million times. Well, I'm going to do it again. But hopefully this time it will be the last time. Not the second to last, or the third to last, or the five thousandth to a last. Alrighty. So, the original way had these silly little wheels running on a groove with a bolt through here and it didn't really work that well uh, I have got what I think is the best cheap alternative which was to add a bolt underneath here below the wheel to clamp them on and that did work but it did not completely prevent wobble uh, this time I've gone crazy awesome ness ness I have gone and put some linear rails on 16 millimeter ones. Yes, that is what you call overkill. Drive truck over. <laughs> why wobble? Gone. Even after truck has driven over it. Uh, the reason why they're 16 millimeters is oddly enough, they were far cheaper than any other size. Cheaper than 8 millimeter ones. Like $12 for a meter delivered to New Zealand which is ridiculously cheap because you normally have to pay crazy money for the postage because it's so jolly long uh, they were obviously losing money because they stopped doing it after uh, a little while after I got mine so you can do less I'd probably do 10 mil ones so what I have done yes don't you love the fact there's no diode protection in our printers Wow, it's a crazy disco. Woo Where's my whistle? Bop, 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 bop. Uh, so I have, I didn't 3D print things. I'm actually, I couldn't be bothered really. So most of it, I just bought these parts. And I've got the short bearings on the bottom. Or from the side, if you like, if it could ever reach. So these ones only have the two bolts in them and I 3D printed oh now it's gone come back y'all it even makes the, the fan turn uh, a, a, an adapter, it's not really an adapter it's a spacer under here because if you put the belt on the original place up here then it's on a massive angle and that meant that it had real problems moving the bed all the way up and it theoretically would have had a problem with distances because it was pulling on an angle so I put the spacer in here and put, which allowed me to put the belt right along the bottom which means things are getting pulled at the right angles now I'm going to put that thingiverse and on thingiverse and the um, STL, obviously, uh, the 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 um, SolidWorks file, so you can change it, because obviously this is going to be for a 16 millimeter one uh, bars, and most people have buy smaller than that, and then that will be too high. So I will put that on there, and that is what it looks like from the bottom. Yes, nothing like overkill. And to be honest, this has actually been the best mod I've ever done and incredibly satisfying, considering I've been going on about this since the beginning of time. But this is really impossible now. Oh yes, I have removed the springs. They have no relevance because water level and you can adjust the Z heights which is just this way. And I hate spring loaded then build things up here shaky baky stuff. So there we go. That is it actually fixed. That's a bold statement from me isn't it? Uh, I highly recommend that. Obviously this costs a lot more money than anything else but it was worth it and this is one of these printers that you buy and then you replace absolutely everything on it and throw the entire thing away but it's fun. Alright guys, see you on the next one. Bye bye.